So, I have a 2002 Lincoln Continental, and the customer came into the dealership, and he says, you know, I have a number of things I want you to do to, do to this car, and a little history on this customer is this customer will buy an old car, and then he'll just tell us to fix everything that we can find wrong with it. He's been doing this for 30 years at this dealership. Well, he brought in this Lincoln Continental, and he says, hey, um, my fuel gauge is acting up, and my lights and stuff are flickering sometimes. I'm not sure what's going on. Can you go through this car and check everything see what's up? There's a number of things he wants us to do. He wants me to put a new power steering pump on it. Um, I went ahead and replaced the rear tow links. He ran up on a curb, so he busted the, the front level, the ride height airbag, like level stud that goes in the sensor. He busted that off in the lower control arm. So I'm gonna have to extract it with some heat and a, an extractor tool and stuff like that. The main focus was why is my fuel gauge messing up sometimes and why is my lights acting up almost as if it's like a charging issue or some kind of bad connection somewhere? Well, he was right. He does know something about cars. So I started going through the car and I know around the fuel tank a lot of times they have a ground back there that typically goes bad. Sometimes guys will run a second ground on top of it. And I told him, I said, how high tech do you want me to get? Do you want me to use the same stuff that came on the car or do you want me to just do something that works? What is it that you want me to do? And he said, don't put a lot of money into it if it's just a ground or something like that, which that's what it was. Um, just get it fixed. So I want to show you guys a, a simple fix, an easy fix that may work for you. And it's a little overkill, but uh, this is what I found. So from the factory, they run a ground strap from, you can see it's broken off right here. They run it from this stud that goes through the hanger, which is that cheap little chintzy, I don't know if it's an eight mil stud, and they run it down to this rusted hanger right here, and it was busted in two. And I kind of under here, I came under here and I put a clip in between it to hold that ground together, and all of a sudden the fuel pump stopped acting up, the lights and stuff came back on. I'm not saying this is your only issue, but this could be an issue. So I says, okay, what I'll do is I'll just get me a two inch exhaust clamp, I'll clean up the, the exhaust real good, because they ground this out through the exhaust on this car. It's just how it was designed, that's how they do it. And there's like a little clip that goes over that. And you can see kind of like the straight edge right there where it used to sit and I busted it off. All kind of rust came off with it, wire was broke. I said, I'll, put, I'll clean this up real good with a, a little grinder, get all the rust and stuff off of it, put a two inch clamp on it, suck it in real tight. And they get myself a battery cable and I, I asked them only for a six to 10 inch piece, but they gave me much, much more than that. And this is overkill. You know, that ground strap is kind of, it's not very big anyway, it's real thin. But I ended up putting my exhaust clamp on here. I got a real nice ground all the way around where it's nice and clean. And then I ran it up and over this hanger and I'm gonna, you know, kind of get a little tie. You really don't have to, cause that's pretty solid. It ain't gonna go nowhere. And even if it does and it grounds out somewhere, it's still not gonna find another path to ground other than here because these aren't, clean past the ground it should, should still be okay I ran it up over the hanger and then I drilled a hole through the pinch weld right here and clean it up real 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 good all the way around and I just sucked the sud through it with a washer and you know it's got almost all of the braids in there and then I put a nut on the other side and cleaned up this side real good and put some dielectric grease all over it so that's his new ground for it and it fixed all the fuel pump issues and it fixed the lighting issues this is what he wanted he didn't want anything super expensive he just wanted it fixed. Well, this is what you get when you don't want to pay the money to get something, you know, kind of done right. Uh, I don't have another eyelid right now. We would have to send off for it, and uh, we're not going to pay any more money because the guy doesn't really want to pay any more money. So I, I told him, I said, I'm just going to drill through your pinch weld, clean it up, put a bolt through it, and suck it all in. And he said, that's fine. As long as it works, that's all I want. And now it works beautifully. No problems with the fuel pump anymore. No problems with the lights flickering and stuff. It could be other issues as well, but that just happened to be this issue on this car. Thank you all. appreciate you all. Subscribe to the channel, please.